again. Back to pretending they're happy families, like they weren't just arguing in the other room. Are they crazy? <laughs> Rhetorical question. They absolutely are crazy. Occupied one's Trying time to remember what occupied one time. Time. Louis, you lying liar. Trying to rewrite his history. Please, you guys were miserable. Miserable! I'm surprised that Armand would leave them alone. I mean, isn't the situation really dicey? Was he that hungry? <laughs> Is he gonna let is he gonna let Louis in? Is he gonna let him know that there's more to this, that he's remembering something or that it didn't happen as they both believe? Because who's lying to him? Is it Louis or is it Armand? I thought it's just Armand. Armand is playing mind games. He's the oldest vampire there, but with the youngest mentality. He really does act like a lovesick teenager. Armand could see I was partial to you. What does that mean? <laughs> you paid. Oh. That's right. Sounds a bit risque. Oh, he just asked. Okay. Flashback, here we go. It's about to get naughty. No, your sink isn't working. Can I just fix that for you? I prefer you like this. All dark and real. Maybe I could, uh, cheer you up. Daniel! 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 What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Fulfilling my side of the social contract. We're jumping in Do right away. you want me to interview your subjects with your shirt off? Huh? So. Did. Oh you know my goodness, it's giving one night stand. It's giving Daniel is ready to risk it all. It's giving who will match my freak and is that gonna be Louis? He seemed too happy to see that coffin. Like the coffin would have made someone leave, not make them take off their shirt. Daniel, Daniel, the apartment wasn't even that good. In the sense he was a handsome singer. Yeah, I mean, I know the time. <laughs> the way his superficial charm, mm. vulgar. <laughs> Maniacal. <laughs> Two dumb bitches telling each other exactly. Exactly. <laughs> okay, Louis is more obsessed and more in love than ever. This proves it. He can't stop talking about Lister. Him disparaging him is just... It's, it's, there's something about it. Hang on. The way he keeps talking about Lister and he's talking to the tape recorder it's like he, he wants Lestat's attention. He's trying to rile him up, trying to make Lestat see the red mist, even though we don't really know where he is right now. Yeah, he wants Lestat back. It's all about Lestat, and it's like he's ranting and raving to draw Lestat out from wherever he is. I think he needs him now more than ever, because obviously Claudia is gone. She's been killed in clearly a horrific way, and... The person he wants is Lestat, as always. He doesn't have his dream Lestat anymore. He needs Lestat back. He appeared frail and stupid to me, oh baby girl. Okay, now it makes sense why Lestat went to get Claudia. I was always like, Lestat, just let her go. Let her be free, what are you doing? Now, he understood the fact that Louis would have been so suicidal, so depressed without her, that he had to chase after her and drag her back home. Unfortunate for him, because in the end that led to his demise. But once again, I mean, I guess we'll see Lestat's POV one day. But in his mind, he must be doing all of this for Louis, not just himself. Well, himself in the sense that he doesn't want to lose Louis. So it's always centered around Louis. Oh, Louis, you are a wanted man. And it brings you nothing but trouble. And give it to me. I won't waste it. I think you could use me. I think we have an energy, you and me. You do? I could be your Lestat, your Claudia. Whoa! The audacity! He's gonna kill you. I mean, he doesn't, but he would have been well within his right to kill you in that moment. What do you mean? You could have been his Lestat, I can be your Claudia. I mean, that's like a song lyric. So Daniel, he must have been so high on these drugs, they hadn't left his body yet because 
Louis is dangerous right now. I mean, look at his face. He's upset. He's making him upset. And upset equals angry. And angry equals dead. Oh. Armand saving the love of his life. And I'm talking about Daniel. <laughs> Every sunset, Saint Louis, and I'd have it. And then way. now, how Louis is describing Armand, the love of his life. No wonder he has him locked up in their tower like Rapunzel. Fail marriage is failing. It's been failing since day one. I don't know what to do with this. What I love. This is the best episode so far. Like, let me press play so I can just get back to um, Armand's embarrassment. But yeah, just rip him a new one. Go for it. Beige's pillar. Oh, it's so it drives him to. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie, picking Lynn off the sofa, at least say you were watching the game, Armand. Sprinkle a little bit of toxic masculinity in there. These two, they love trapping Daniel in their bullshit. <laughs> This man just wants to go home. Past, present, and future. Let this man leave. He's the real princess in a tower. He's always stuck with them. They're going to teach me how to be fascinating. I don't think it's something you can teach. He said, you be quiet now. Back up. Okay, it's you who's fascinating. Yeah, say whatever you got to say. You could read minds, right? Louis thinks I'm boring. You are, darling. Why do you find me boring? <laughs> do you want to hear my story? Yes. 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 Let him sit down. My first memory. I'm being run down by <laughs> Oh my, let's listen. My second. Sorry. Babe, I understand. Valid attempt, but failed. I leave you to yourself. I know where he is. <gasps> okay. I found his voice among the many. Okay. No. I told him I was with you. I still want to go crawling back. That's maybe why he's doing it this way. Mister. No. Speed. Bonita, Mr. I told him you were thinking of him again. Yes. Mister. No. Yes. Yes. I'm here. <gasps> he's waiting for you. <sighs> yes. I'm with him now. He cannot hear you. 
He has injured himself. Louis. <sighs> no. This is your chance, Louis. I am your maker's voice. Louis. Louis. Mon cher. Mon cher. <laughs> you wanted to say something to me. You wanted to say something to me. Yeah. Why are you ill? Oh. What's happened to you? Why are you ill? What's happened to you? Oh my gosh. I love you, Louis. <sighs> Tell oh. him I love you, Mama. Tell him, Armand. I love you, Louis. Tell him, Armand. Tell him, Armand. Yeah. Tell him. Uh, Tell Louis. him. Louis. Bitch. He was my make. There's not that more. You left me. So now we're back to playing pretend. What is this circle with him and Armand? Finally we get to a moment of truth. He loves Lestat. He wants Lestat. He doesn't want you. And then you guys just, I don't know, put like a, a band-aid over this huge gaping bullet wound. Why do they keep doing this? Why do they keep doing this? No. Yeah, he was ready to unalive himself. Watch for the next thousand years. Probably, that's why he's locked up in that tower. Have I atoned for my part? Your part what? Paris. Paris? You mean Claudia's murder? Or am I a reminder of the worst of it? You're a reminder of it, you're the cause of it. I can't even look at you. <laughs> Okay, now he's trying to get in Armand's head. He's got to say this to stop him from the this murder. This boy, to live up tonight. Yeah, let him live. Are you asking, Maître? No, Arun. Oh, this sick I'm not asking. Arun stuff. Here we go again, here we go again. Your sick relationship, so twisted, so toxic. Oh, he saved him. You know, it's so interesting having watched them be, they've been antagonizing each other a bit, Daniel and Louis, but watching them together now, where's he going? Oh, is he going to catapult himself off the balcony like I suggested earlier? Would make sense. Where are you going? Page 484. Oh, he's back! He's Listen back! He's back! He's not catapulting. Listen, Isabel, I'm a bright young reporter with a point of view. Oh, there those are, are Louis' words. There are stories that need to be told. Oh, I love this. Those are Louis' words. Those are Louis' words These are, words These are the him. words you'll hear in your mind like a tape playing over and over. Like a song stuck in your brain. These words will hold you up and they carry you. you. And I remember right up until when you bit me. And then both our memories cut out. Oh, that clocking Same on there. Seeing him for who he is. Yeah, get on two that. brains. Yeah. Oh, he's back. He doesn't know. Jump him. You hit him high, and then Darren can hit him low. Oh. How was your lunch? Entertaining. <laughs> he made it all the way to Burj Khalifa. <gasps> How's Paris? I cannot with these shades. Oh when my, what is he doing? He's like, I have shades, but well, not exactly like that. I swear, down. where? He asked. Okay, okay, here we go. Get in, loser. We're going shopping. <laughs> Literally, that's how he's walked in. Not knowing they're plotting his demise. I could see you were partial to him. Oh, I they've got your number, you Armand. I had a hunch. Do you feel that? They like the air? Fruitful. Yes, they're coming for you. This show. Another week of being seduced by the tale. No notes. I'll see you next week.